So, like I said on the last video, this is what we're going to be putting the fish in. Um, we had our chicks in here and I washed it out. It's kind of stained at the bottom, whatever. But, you know, put some water in there. Got to fill it up somehow. So, let's get started. Our water hose broke. I uh, see so using neighbor's water hose. It's not very long. Um, the thing broke. I tried to tape it back together, but it did not work. This is pretty darn long water hose right here, but it ain't working, so. I have to use that, and probably have to use buckets and crap, but. Yeah, it's gonna take a little while, but I guess we have to get started. This is the first bucket. One hand. Oh, this is hard. Say about 20 to 30 buckets, it'd be good. Back in the garage, this is where we have it, and then back here. I mean, up here, all the way up to here. This is where we're filling them up. Right here. It's gonna take a while. Storing them up. I'm using the faucet on the whole other side of the house, so it's even further now. So yeah. I just put it on the golf cart and take it over there. About halfway full. What we're doing now is getting the golf cart, filling it up down there, driving the golf cart, getting the bucket, and doing this. But yeah, that's what we're doing now. It's finally full, and we just went to the creek and got some rocks. We're kind of like cleaning them off in the bucket. It's got a little too full, so. Up there used to be our chick stuff, but now it's going to be our fish stuff. So that food that's going to be like a little feeder of the black one. All right, now I got them. The fish rock right there and right there. And they can just come up under that and that. They should be able to go. And then under that, yeah. They're pretty cool. i get back with y'all when I'm done. Not sure if you can see, but it's a little murky. It should all settle to the bottom. But I got rocks all the way through here. All the way through here. But yeah. Whatever's still flowing, I get it out and get it out, but all that should be still in the settle by the morning when I put the fish in, or sometime tomorrow when I put the fish in. So well, this is it all done. I think yesterday we finally got the water hose hooked up, and this is it. I put some duckweed in it, all the rocks at the bottom, all the little fishies. So, biggest fish is a crappie. I open one of them rocks. Big place they can go up under there. I think the video cut yesterday, but I think the same day they were eating, they're eating again today. The next day, it's already kind of murky looking, but it'll be all right. All the fish are eating pretty good. The duck we I put in there, they've already ate almost all that. So, wish the big crappie would come up here. So these are bluegill. And some other minnows that we put in our lake, all that together. So they eat all this stuff, have a good time. So this is the end of the setup. I might get another aerator or something for air, but make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.